Hi there, my name is Kenzie. I'm offering you a restorative yoga practice today. Um, in this practice, we move into a few different supported shapes and rest deeply in them to help nourish our nervous system as well as our body in places of openness before stretch, inviting blood flow, inviting ease and comfort and calm. So, uh, I am recording this in the beautiful Everyday Counts program space, and I am so happy to be here, and I'm so happy that you've chosen to join me today. We are going to begin by finding a comfortable way of being, and this could be lying down. I do encourage it. So, uh, you'll notice we've got some props here today, and we're going to use them in most of our poses. I have two thick bed pillows. In fact, I have two thin bed pillows inside one pillowcase. So it depends on the thickness of your pillows. I've got two here and I've got two blankets. They could be, you know, coach throws. Uh, they could be a comfy um, beach towel um, or any size blanket that works for you. So it might be nice to actually use one of these blankets under our head today. If you're in a chilly room, you could use the other blanket over your body. And then perhaps stacking these two pillows and we can place our legs over the pillows. That gives the low back a chance to gently lengthen and allows your body to hopefully find some comfort. If those pillows are not comfortable where they are or you prefer one rather than two, continue to make adjustments until you are comfortable. If you need that second pillow under your head or a second blanket, please do so. Your comfort matters most in this practice. And also remember, you can press pause and you can gather anything else you might need. Yeah. So continue to make any adjustments for your comfort. And then feel free to close your eyes, to breathe through your nose if you can. To allow your body to settle onto the soft support beneath you. And begin to notice the journey of your breath. At first, maybe feel the cool air moving in past your nostrils or past your lips and the warmer air moving out. The cool breath moving in. Warmer breath out. Stay with it. Feeling the coolness of the inward breath. And the warmth of the outward breath. Now let's follow the breath deeper so that cool in-breath allows the abdomen to rise. And that warmer out-breath, the abdomen moves back down. Cool in-breath, rising abdomen. Warmer out-breath, abdomen. Switching your awareness now to the rise and fall of your abdomen with each in-breath and out-breath.
And now leaving the breath, trusting the breath to find its own easy rhythm. Let's begin to journey through the senses just a little bit. Notice what you can see against your own closed eyelids. Feel your eyes seeing whatever color light is filtering through, whatever image is there, feel your eyes seeing. Even with eyes closed, the eyes are still able to see. So now let's move to our nose as the air is moving in and out of the nostrils. Can you smell? Can you feel your nose smelling for the next few breaths? Even if there's not much to smell, there's still a sensing here. Can you now move on to your mouth and can you sense your tongue tasting? Even if there's not much to taste. Feeling your tongue tasting. All right, final piece here. Switch to your ears. Can you feel your ears hearing? Let's start with any sounds within your room. And as you hear something, move on to the next sound. Move from sound to sound without having to label it or judge it. Simply move from sound to sound within the room you're in. Now begin to listen for sound within your whole house or building, so beyond the room. sense of hearing to reach out in all directions, to reach out beyond this room, beyond this house or building, and reach out for all of the sounds you can hear outside. 
furthest away, moving from sound to sound. As we continue to listen for a few more moments, let's come back to feeling the rise and fall of our abdomen. For a few more breaths, a few more sounds. listening to sounds inside this building, this home. Listening for sounds inside this room. Listening for your own breath, even as you feel your abdomen rise and fall. Here we are now. If it suits you, perhaps rest one hand to your abdomen and one hand to your chest. And offer yourself some sweetness, a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. As you release your hands, you maybe wiggle your fingers or toes, maybe circle your wrists or ankles, and maybe not. You might feel like yawning or stretching or giving yourself a hug. I always like to invite a little bit of movement between the different um, postures or shapes we move into, but if you're not feeling the movement, if you'd prefer to just move into the pose, you can always move ahead a little bit, or just ignore me for the next few moments. What I'm going to invite you to do is roll over to one side. You might place a second pillow or blanket um, under your head if you need to. And you'll notice my knees are just stacked, my hips are stacked, and I'll stack my hands as well. Yeah, reaching them out in front of me. And your head might still be at a bit, a bit of an angle, but that's going to be a little easier once your head starts turning. We're going to float the top arm up and allow the arm to reach behind us by letting the chest turn towards the belly. The thighs might separate a little bit here. My elbow is bent because I've just bumped into the wall here, but the arm could be long at your side. And then we're going to reach the arm back across. And we'll continue that movement a few times. Again, the thighs could separate. That top hip should, could shift back. And then we could bring the arm across. That's sort of like opening and closing a book. If you'd like something a little more dynamic for the shoulder, you could sweep the arm up and around as you open, and then down and around as you close. And so just playing with that a few more times. Soft opening. And closing. And if you're circling the arm, you could even change the direction here. Yeah. 
And then maybe opening and closing this book one more time. And then we'll meet back at center. So before we roll back onto our back, it might be helpful to bring these pillows across in front of you so that you have them where you need them. Um, as usual, as we move into a restorative pose, I'm gonna to try to give you as many different options as I can so you can find the most comfortable version of this pose as possible. I'm kind of hiding behind these pillows now. Um, so what you'll notice here is I'm rolling back onto my back and my knees are comfortably bent. In fact, I'll probably bring my knees towards my belly. And then I'm gonna bring one of the pillows um, right beside my hip and bring my legs to rest on those pillows. For a lot of us, we might need to scooch the bottom hip a little bit further towards the back wall. And we might need to place another pillow between our knees. Now, this is the interesting part, is we want to, as much as possible, bring our back still onto the mat. Um, and this is where it might be nice to bring that second uh, blanket underneath that back shoulder blade or shoulder. Yeah, and have that arm wherever it needs to be. Another way to kind of get settled into this pose would be to place that front hand on the top thigh. So we don't want to feel like we're trying to hold ourselves here. The idea of this pose is, is kind of openness before stretch, but also building the ground up to support you. So if you find that the knees are a little bit too bent or that that bottom pillow is not helping, that pillow could even come to your other side to support your arm. So it's gonna be different for everyone. This is a supported twist. So feeling, again, gentle, openness before stretch. Yeah, so continue to make any of those adjustments that you need to. You might find you want to turn in the direction of that back arm, so the opposite direction of your knees. But you might also find that you're more comfortable facing the same direction as your knees. Yeah. So once you've found some comfort in this supported pose, feel free to close your eyes once more. And to make any adjustments you need to for your comfort. It might even be something I haven't mentioned. Everybody is different. We will again Feel the cool air moving in past the nostrils. And the warmer air moving out. Cool breath in. Warm breath out. This is an effortless breath. We're simply noticing. We could now maybe take that awareness deeper and feel the rise of the abdomen with the in-breath. And the fall of the abdomen with the out breath. And I know with a twist, there's a little bit of a, a press on the belly. So you might feel this a little bit differently. Maybe there's some resistance here. There's also this little massage of the abdominal organs as we allow that soft rise of the abdomen with the inhale. the fall of the abdomen with the exhale. And trusting your breath to find the easy rhythm. As we once more journey a little more briefly through the senses. And can we notice our eyes seeing behind our eyelids? Our nose 
nose, smelling. Our tongue tasting. Our ears hearing. Start with the sounds in your room. Move from sound to sound. Begin to reach for further wave sounds within the whole building or beyond into the outside world, moving from sound to sound. Now bring your sense of hearing back into this room. And bring it close to your body and listen for your breath. As you begin to feel your breath, feel the cool breath in and the warm breath out. Feel the movement of your abdomen. Let's make an offering of four or five more breaths to this pose. Perhaps each exhale a little bit longer than the last. When you feel ready, perhaps a little wiggle of the fingers or toes, a little turn of the wrists or ankles. Maybe a yawn or a stretch. And then slowly removing those pillows and guiding yourself back to center. You might feel like Hugging the knees in towards the belly, a little rock from side to side before we move into this on the other side. And 
Now, so once more, we are going to roll over this time to the opposite side. And as we do, we might organize our props like so. So we have them where we need them. A blanket under the head, a blanket nearby, and turning to the side just in case that helps to have a visual. So remember, we rolled right onto our side to begin. We stacked our knees, we stacked our hips. And then we reach the top arm up and over. Notice my thigh can separate and my hip can shift over to the side. And then reaching the arm back across. Like you're opening a book. And closing. Now if you wanted something a bit more dynamic, you could sweep the arm overhead. There's that wall again, and then back around. Kind of like the arm is the hand of a clock. And it could be quite close to the floor. Again, I'm bending the elbow because I've got a wall quite close to me. You could change the direction of the circle. Turning the belly to the, to the ceiling, letting that top shoulder blade maybe even reach the floor. And gentle twisting. And a couple more times, just as slow as you need to go. time the hand is to the hand, we can slowly come back to center. And so remember we set up one pillow under the knees and then we lift our feet and bring those thighs over to rest on the pillow. And this is where we might need to scoop that top hip towards the back of the mat a bit. Uh, we could place a second pillow between the thighs. And if that opposite shoulder blade is quite elevated, we could place a blanket or pillow under that shoulder blade. I know for myself, I like to remove the bottom pillow and, and then we could even place that under the back arm if there was some elevation. You could place that top hand on the thigh. Yeah, so you've got that visual of what's happening on both sides. And again, you could be experimenting here however you need to. Again, I'm gonna to turn to the side view. So you've got whatever you need to be comfortable. And so your comfort matters most of all in this practice. So please feel free to keep seeking your comfort. If you need to, the knees to be a little less bent. Again, or the bottom leg straight. Keep experimenting. And then once you're comfortable, you might turn to face away from those bent knees or right at the ceiling or even facing in the same direction as your knees. Sometimes even having a hand to the belly can be helpful. Also as we close our eyes and tune in to the breath, feeling the abdomen rise and fall. And again, we can journey through the senses. Feel your eyes seeing behind closed eyelids for a few breaths. Feel your nose smelling. Mm. 
even if there's nothing to smell. Feel your tongue tasting. Feel your ears hearing whatever sounds are in this room, moving from sound to sound. Now allow that sense of hearing to reach beyond this room, to even reach into the world outside this building, moving from sound to sound. Now coming back to sounds within this room. Now listening for your own breath. Now feeling the cool breath in, the warmer breath out. Now feeling the rise of your abdomen with the inhale, and the fall of your abdomen with the exhale. We'll make an offering of five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last.
once you complete those breaths, again, give your fingers or toes a wiggle. A little turn of the wrists or ankles. Ooh, maybe even a yawn or a stretch. And then roll all the way over to that one side. Press your hand into the floor. Once you move those pillows away from your legs and you can come upright. Ah, so, move our props out of the way a little bit. And then find a comfortable seat. So, this could be sitting cross-legged or with the legs in front of you, sitting on one of those pillows or kneeling. Again, I'm going to invite a little bit of movement before our next pose. It's always optional. Um, so when you're ready, you could drop your chin down towards your chest and maybe round a little bit forward through the upper back. And then we're going to lift the chin, lift the gaze, and lift our heart a little bit. We're kind of rounding forward, dropping the chin down, rounding the shoulders forward. And then lifting the heart, the chin, the gaze. We'll do that a few more times. And I'd like to add the arms, so as you round forward, you could give yourself a hug. And as you lift the heart, the chin, the gaze, you could reach your arms back. If we're growing wings, we're gonna hug ourselves as we round forward. And then reach those arms, maybe in a different direction as you lift the heart, the chin, the gaze. And we'll do this a few more times each time. You could switch which arm is on top as you give yourself a hug. And each time you reach those arms behind you, maybe a slightly different angle, a little higher, a little lower. Or maybe closing your eyes. And move any way, any way at all. We call this wings or hugs. We'll breathe into that space between the shoulder blades. We'll feel the wrapping of our own arms around ourselves. And then slowly release your arms to your sides, bring your head upright. So we are now going to move into a supported back bend and only as much as you want and need here. Again, we're looking for a place of openness before stretch. So depending on what's happening through our chest, um, we'll be able to adjust for kind of intensity here. We want to move away from intensity, but it's an opportunity to open. So again, I'll give lots of suggestions and you can modify as need be. So probably one of these pillows is going to be under your chest. And then I suspect the second pillow might be under your head. Yeah. And then one of these lovely folded blankets or towels could be under the hips. This makes sense. And maybe that other one um, we'll just place wherever we need to. Yeah. So I'm going to sit myself on the blanket, slowly lower myself onto this pillow, and then my head. So my shoulders hopefully will just be at the top edge of this pillow. Um, and then my head will be on the second pillow. So we might need to adjust where that blanket is under our hips. As you can see, my shoulders didn't quite make it. Second pillow, like so. And then we can bring our arms out to the sides in any direction that pleases us. You can adjust here. Um, if that, if the hands are resting on, like kind of floating above the mat, this is where if you have another little pillow or blanket, you could place it under here. Also, if this feels too open, we could place the arms on those blankets or at the bit of pillow off to the side, or we could place them on the belly. Yeah. If we wanted a little bit more stretch, we could even remove that second pillow 
and place a blanket under the head instead. So there's a little more kind of arcing through the upper back. If this pillow under the chest is too much, you could place the blanket under the back instead. So making any adjustments here so you feel in that place of openness before stretch. And then notice how your low back is feeling. So if you want a little more through the low back, you could remove the blanket. If you want a little less, you could bring the pillow under your hips or put a second pillow there. Um, and then also, especially if the low back does feel tight, notice my knees are bent, my feet are wide. I'm gonna turn my toes to face in slightly, rest my knees against each other. Oh, and another nice thing here is you could even tuck your hands under your low back. Also, we're finding this place of openness before stretch. We're closing our eyes. Playing with that arm position, there's lots of different ones that might serve you best. Even hands behind the head, sort of the beach position. We'll only be here for about five minutes. Closing your eyes, continuing to make adjustments as need be. And your comfort matters most of all. Finding a place of openness before stretch, where the whole body feels supported. We don't need to hold on. But if we do start moving into stretch, we can support the body more or change position. And once more, we can tune into the rise and fall of the abdomen. which might feel a little bit different because we're opening through the front body. Well, we've been doing a lot of listening listening to the outside world with our sense of hearing. And now I'd like to invite you to, to do some inner listening. Not to listen for your thoughts, but to listen for the space between your thoughts. This is the space of awareness where you can allow all that is happening to simply happen without commentary. To allow all you are experiencing to be experienced without telling yourself a story. This is the space of awareness where you can let yourself be. And as you listen, thoughts will arise like clouds in a vast blue sky. But the thoughts are merely clouds passing by. You are the sky, you are the space of awareness. Listening for the space between the thoughts. Thoughts merely 
clouds and a vast blue sky. Listening to the space between your thoughts. Space of awareness. Allowing all you are experiencing to be experienced without commentary. Letting yourself be. Let's make an offering of five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last. As you complete those breaths, feel free to wiggle the fingers, the toes, turn the wrists or ankles, yawn, stretch, rub your eyes, whatever you need, and then we're going to slowly bend the knees and roll over to one side. And maybe wiggle off your pillow for a moment, rest your head on your arm. And then slowly press the top hand into the floor and we'll come up right once more you could sit and we'll return to that movement we did before this pose and we give ourselves a hug head round forward and then we grow wings lift our heart our chin our chest we'll do a few more of those if you so choose big hug here, rounding forward, breathe into that space between the shoulder blades. And then slowly release the arms to your sides. Yeah. So it's time for our final, final relaxation, which will probably uh, look a lot like our first relaxation posture. Um, so it could again be a blanket or pillow under your head and a couple of pillows under your knees. 
maybe that last blanket over your body for warmth. This is a very cooling practice, so hopefully having everything you need to be as warm and comfortable as possible. So I'm putting those legs over the pillows, lowering slowly down onto my blanket or pillow for my head, and then maybe placing another blanket over the body or even a part of the body that might uh, benefit from a little extra attention and care. Also continuing to adjust for your comfort. Anything you need to do. You might allow those legs and feet to roll outward a bit. Again, you might turn the palms up and draw the shoulder blades together, or you might rest hands to belly or chest or kind of solar plexus area. Closing your eyes. Tuning in to the cool breath, moving in past your nostrils. And the warmer breath out. And the cool breath in. And the warmer breath out. Now shifting your awareness to your abdomen, that cool deep breath in expands your belly. That warmer breath out, you feel the belly fall. In breath, abdomen rises. Out breath, abdomen falls. Let's imagine that vast blue sky. That space between the clouds, that space of awareness. And if a thought arises, it's just a cloud passing by. And focused on the space between the thoughts, like the blue sky, thoughts merely clouds, passing by. And dwelling in that space of awareness. Experiencing the rise and fall of your abdomen. Experiencing that cool breath in and the warmer breath out. And thoughts will arise like clouds drifting by. But you are the vast blue sky.
thoughts are merely clouds floating by. Cool breath in, warmer breath out. The belly rises and falls. You are the vast blue sky. You are dwelling in this space of awareness between the thoughts. Thoughts are merely clouds floating by in the vastness of your own awareness. Let's make an offering of five or six more breaths to this pose, each exhale a little longer than the last. If you feel ready to do so, you could bring a hand to the belly and a hand to the chest. And once more, offer yourself that sweetness, that kind word, that prayer, that affirmation. in your hands. Please feel free to rest here for as long as you so choose. If you're ready, wiggle your fingers and toes, yawn, stretch, move on with your day nice and slow. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us at the Everyday Counts program. Again, my name is Kenzie. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.